Hello everybody, my name is Parak and in today's video I figured I'd continue with my mini-series of going to try out weapons without their wirebug skills and to add on a little bit more spice with this one in particular because we're using the switch act. I'm also going to do it without the switcher jewel. Let's go see how it does. I also had Barioth in mind today, so we're probably going to see damage or the fail damage check quite a few times here because he's a very, very mobile lad, especially when you get some things broken comes a pain to kind of like slide through attacks and whatnot so we'll see how it goes i just realized i could put coalescence on here oh well it's also a bit of a weird set because decided to make one without uh dragon conversion to see how it does probably not going to do well but we'll see in theory it should be fine because swax does some pretty chunky damage as it is anyway so shouldn't be that bad i don't think most out of mina there's that lack of switcher jewel. I am, of course, using recovery if you didn't see the previous video, of course. I am going to use recovery stuff just because it gets me back into the hunt sooner. Or, like, gets me back into hitting the monster sooner. Oh, good. I was hoping you would do that. Also, didn't expect to get enough gauge in time, but that works. Okay, we got full damage. I'm curious to see how much these vials hit for. Does he hop back? No. Oh, I misjudged it. That's all right. But yeah, we, I feel like we're going to be heavily behind in damage here. Especially with this lad, because there is a lot of stuff that you kind of want to have a counter for. Because it locks him down a bit better than what you would normally get out of it. But we'll see how it goes. Also don't have stun res, because usually don't build for stun res, because I'm not going to get hit that much. With, uh, like any monster pretty much. So I don't usually run stun res, but it would have been nice so I could ZSD to him. Maybe keep a bit of uptime that way. But, uh, I'm not going to risk the cart for it. We got that check pretty quick. Interesting. Like, we actually got that really, really quick. It didn't take long at all. So, this might not be that bad. Also got one blade scale hone on here, just in case I have to... What's it called? Try get the purple back. Because this does have, like, 10 hits of purple. Just in case I, like, get hit and lose heaven sent. Or he gets too far away, for example, that would do it as well. Some more damage. Yeah, these are doing like, I think 60. Less than they would normally would with the Vile Pops, but I feel like the... The regular swings are also making up for it, because we got raw and we're actually critting every hit, so we can get... Uh, crit element and whatnot too. So I think it's honestly making up for it. Just with a bit of a... I guess easier time, because I don't need... Melee Hellfire on here either. I'll show this set afterwards, but it's a very interesting set. At least in my opinion. I see everyone just run like Dragon Conversion, and that's it. So I figured I'd do something a little different. That's a good time for Arm Break. Unfortunately, I missed all those swings, but that's alright. But yeah. It's, it's honestly going well. Unfortunately, we got an Arm Break now, so he's going to start slip sliding. I say it's bad, because... If he does the one that dashes through me, for example, don't think there's anything we can do to actually land any damage off that, and he'll be facing the wrong way to hit a good hit zone anyway. But, we'll see. Okay. Gotta utilize that two morph slash out of wild... Uh, wild swing. Wild's mentioned. Oh, no. Been hanging around my streamer friends too long. Wild's mentions. It's a very common thing at the moment. I guess for the past few weeks it's been common past month it's been very common see people talking about it we got another check ayo hey, is non dragon conversion elemental switch axe the meta what is this i always fail checks on barrioth even with like a proper optimized set unless i'm playing dual blades but normally it's like too squirrely to actually get checks on but we take those cancel this wild morph Oh yeah, of course, we've also got um, Adrenaline Rush on here as well. Because we got Evasion on here, we may as well get that too for that extra bit of 30 raw. Out of gas, mate. He's exhausted, so I know he's not going to have gas. It's the same with any of them that have, like, breath attacks. Broke the other arm at a really good time, actually. Because I think he was about to go back into his... Anomaly state or Enrage state. Wow, these are really lucky topples. We love to see this. Nice and simple. Okay. Still no in reach. There it is. Give me that, sir. 
Keep that adrenaline rush going nice and juicy. Backing up. Of course, we got uh, two of Extend on here as well. I just prefer it with Switch Axe. Specifically Switch Axe. I usually just run one on most weapons. But I find two to be quite nice. Thought he'd go towards me. Yeah, there's the, the trip I was talking about. But at least that's not a bad trip. If he, like, runs through me, he will literally run through us and then fall over facing the wrong way. So it's very, very bad when that happens. Morph back to him. Some more. Nice and juicy. Eh, put your face back in the way of the sword, please. Nope. Land off it as well. He did. Another one. Morph. Get a little bit of gauge. Oh my god, what a stagger. Back into that. Roll it, just in case, because it usually hits me, regardless. Oh my god, the hops are kind of clean today. I have been playing all day, but it's been... World. Not. Rise. So maybe my iframes are on point. Because Twitch Axe definitely has a lot less... Oh. It has more emphasis on you hopping through things to keep damage up. Than in this game, obviously. Ooh, okay. Fine. Yep, check. Like, we haven't even procced Intrepid this hunt so far. It's been real clean. Surprised it didn't hit me. Nope. And nope. Oh! I'm going through all of this. Love it. If only it was like this all the time, because it's definitely not this lenient most of the time with this game. But we take those. Another check, too. Successful one. Of course, this is a level 300 as well. There's no reason for me to fight anything lower. Okay. And I didn't want to, like, spend potentially 15 to 20 minutes fighting a special investigation because I didn't know if this would be reasonably good. It's the whole reason we're doing this, like, mini-series is to see if this stuff can be viable if you don't want to use those skills for whatever reason. Okay. And we've had Switcher and a non-meta set. That's seemingly doing completely fine. Nope. Ooh. Still got it. Okay, enrage. I think he did enrage. He did. Oh my god. We are so clean with the hops today. Nope. Okay, good the dog didn't eat it. That one got us. Finally used their intrepid. It's fine. Can I walk away from that? Apparently I can. We take those. Of course I've got Heaven Sent 3 on here as well. For both the safety of having a... I think it's like 20 or 30% damage reduction. When it's active. To uh, the infinite sharpness obviously. Because Switch Axe shoots through sharpness very quickly. We are hopping through literally everything. Okay. Nope. Maybe I need to optimize this set more. And like get yeah, Wirebug Whisper and stuff. Because this is doing swimmingly well. And as I said, I, I normally fail damage checks on Barrier, especially Barrier. Even with like weapons that I love fighting him on, which is like Lance. It's not too bad on Gun Lance either, but usually just Lance. Regular. That. Yeah. Another almost sub 8 minute hunt. With a very, I guess, unconventional way of playing. It's not optimized because there's so many openings to land a counter there. Even with just the roars alone would be enough to use the counters. Because it's what, three, four, five of them, depending how many damage checks you get or fail. As always, here was the set. This is an experimental set. I literally threw it together for this video. Because there's a lot of skills that you would use on Switch Axe to give you more or less wire bugs, depending on how much you like to have. For example, some Switch Axe users love to have Frenzy Bloodlust to get that extra wire bug so they can get their counters out more often, and then Wind Mantle, of course. But this set doesn't have any of that because we're not using it. So, made sense. I'm using an attack boost 3, element exploit 1 with 3 2 slots. And here were the skills and decorations. As I said, there's no dragon conversion, there's no furious, no super skills on here at all. I could probably put Mail of Hellfire in here actually as well. Give it a little bit more oomph. Or well, that last level of Powder Mantle would be good. If you wanted to screenshot there and there you can. But yeah, that was some more Monster Hunter Sunbreak. This time trying out no wire bugs and no switcher jewel with the Switch Axe. You can definitely play Switch Axe without those skills. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.